Hello traders, hope you're doing well. A lot of them were sending me personal messages to share my analysis. Okay, so in this video, I'll be showing the analysis which I have done for tomorrow. Okay, I will be trading only with these stocks if I get trade opportunity. If not, I will not trade. All right, for traders, it takes a lot of time for me to make videos like this. So if you enjoy the video, please like, share and comment. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask from you in return. So without any further delay, Let's quickly check my analysis. Now traders, this is a chart of Nifty 50 one hour time frame. Okay, so in this one hour time frame, if I draw a trend line like this, the market resisted here, here and here. So this level we can consider as the support line. All right, same way, if I draw a trend line like this, so the market resisted here, here almost and here. We can get it a little closer. All right, so this is acting as support and this is acting as resistance. Now, a lot of people who looks at this, they think this is a channel pattern, but actually this is not a channel pattern, but it is a wedge pattern. All right, just see here. Can you see the gap between the support and resistance is getting smaller and smaller, right? Now, if you check historical chart, okay, if you back test it, when market is making a movement like this, like this, like this, the market keeps going up, up, up and finally it will give a breakdown. All right. So this is the same pattern it's trying to do. That's what I believe. So from this level, the market can go down. All right. Or it can go little more higher and finally it can give a breakdown. Since Nifty is making a movement like this on a one hour time frame. I would not be interested to take a buy position on Nifty. I'm speaking about positional trading, right? I'm not speaking about intraday. Rather, I would just prefer to do option selling or if I'm trading in future, I will sell futures of Nifty. Okay. The first target can be here. The next target can be here. So this is my analysis on Nifty 50 on a higher time frame. Okay. Now if I check Nifty 50 chart on 15 minutes time frame, I can observe this level is acting as resistance okay and this level is acting as support since the market is making a movement like this in 15 minutes time frame in intraday i might take a buy position if the market breaks this level and if the market reverse from here and gives a breakdown here i'll be interested to take a sell position so if i get a proper trade setup with one minute or five minutes time frame i'll be interested to trade in nifty if not i'll not be interested to take a trade all right so that's my analysis on nifty now apart from nifty i made analysis on other charts as well let us look at all that one by one so i will exactly tell you what's my strategy on these stocks this is a chart of tata chemicals daily time frame okay what i can see here is this level is acting as support and this level was acting as resistance we can see the stock is given a breakout so tata chemicals is given a breakout so tomorrow if the market is bullish there's high chances for the stock to go up okay my target will be the length of this so from here this length if i keep here so this length will be my target but if anyone wants to take less risk they can exit at this level so this level they can exit so this is about tata chemical daily time frame okay so in intraday trading opportunity I'll quickly jump into this. Now, if this becomes a false breakout tomorrow, that means if Nifty is little bearish, market sentiment is different, then this will become a false breakout. So from here, it will reverse and within two, three days, it will come to this level. So I will not immediately trade here. Once I see how it performs in intraday, then I will take a trade. To know how I take a trade in intraday, I have my course. The link is there in description. That's my strategy for intraday. Okay, you can have a look at that. All right. If you have your own strategy, no problem. You can just add it to your watch list. Just observe how the market movement happens. And if you get a trading opportunity as a buy position, take a trade. If it rejects this level, it will consolidate and it will go down. So here after a breakdown, the next candle will help us confirm to take a short position or not. All right. That's my analysis. Now traders, this is a chart of HDFC bank, one hour time frame. Okay, so what I can see here is this level is acting as support and this level is acting as resistance. All right, since HDFC Bank is a Nifty 50 stock, okay, 
how nifty performs will affect hdfc bank okay so i suggest you to add the stock to your watch list okay once you get a breakout we can go for buying once we get a breakdown we can go for selling so that is about hdfc bank now traders i hope you understand how to trade triangle pattern okay so in triangle pattern the stock movement will be like this okay and from here it will give a breakout or it will give a breakdown so we need to wait and once we get an opportunity we need to enter after this breakout or breakdown the market movement will be very good so if we enter at the right time our trade will just finish within 30 40 minutes okay so that is about hdfc bank now there are other stocks also making similar pattern i'll just show it to you all right you can add them to your watch list this is a chart of unilever three hours time frame okay now we can see this is the support level all right and this is the resistance level and this candle is giving a bullish signal okay after this the market can reverse and go up all right we need to add them to our watch list okay our target will be the length of this or one is to two whichever comes first all right so that's about unilever the next stock is jindal steel okay one hour time frame this is the support and this level is the resistance level okay so this stock is also making triangle pattern breakout volume confirmation buy breakdown volume confirmation sell okay target will be this or one is to two whichever comes first right the next stock is power grid daily time frame now traders this is left shoulder this is the head and this is right shoulder all right so if i just bring it down like this we can see that this level this level is acting as a strong resistance level okay now a lot of people will wait for the market to break this level once this is broken they will take a buy entry okay but i do not trade like that so rather what i do i draw a trend line like this okay just consider this as a micro trend once we get a breakout here then we will enter the trade and we will exit the trade where a lot of people are entering so that we do not fall for this trap because people who enter here they have to keep their target here okay the market is very used to this pattern everywhere on the internet they speak about this so this big players will not let the market to go high from this level they will make it to go little high when people get excited enter the trade then they will push the market down if we are entering the trade here we will be exiting very quickly and we will not fall for that trap all right so that's how i trade head and shoulder pattern i think this tip will help you now traders these are the only stocks which i'll be trading this week okay if i get a proper opportunity in any of this i will enter the trade if not i will not keep searching for new stocks if i get an opportunity only in these stocks i trade if not i will not trade there is no requirement for me to trade in the market every single day so traders these are the stocks i'll be trading tomorrow okay if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to the channel and if you think this video is going to be useful for someone please share it with them if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section all right so that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one